so here we go guys um this is for the arduino guys again um for those of you looking to build um, a pedal board for your organ um this video is going to be essential for you my name is adeboy thompson and i am with dilly um i'm going to be sharing this with you um it's going to show you how to do a media encoder using a very cheap arduino board and um some source code so first thing you want to do is come right here and um, search for Arduino IDE and you'll take you can go to the Arduino CC website mm, just a minute it's, my connection is a little bit slow today I don't know why um, but yeah the Arduino CC website will pop up in a minute so here we go and you hit this now Arduino is um, sort of based off C not C++ um, you can see the question here is Arduino based on C or C++ it's certainly based on C because um, the difference between C and C++ is that C is a procedural language while C++ is object oriented and um, all through your development of the Arduino you're not going to be doing anything object oriented everything is going to be procedural procedural um, functions and stuff like that which makes our life so much easier I, I prefer that um, again all of this is really really easy stuff I promise you um, this media encoders are usually so expensive and it's ridiculous when you think of how easy it is to make this stuff and why in God's name they sell these media encoders for so much money um, now you want to come down here and you can see the uh, different options you have the installer you have the zip file for non-admin install now that would probably be where I would go um, if you do it that it will give you a zip file now once you download that zip file you unzip it if you're on Windows and then you now have to plug in your Arduino I'm already assuming you do have an Arduino already you can get an Arduino Uno I have both the Uno and um, I also have the Nano I'll be putting like pictures um, my phone always has like very huge files when I do re video recordings with it so I'll just snap some pictures and have detailed explanations but the main thing for this video series would just be in the coding again for schematics I will do detailed schematics for you guys and um, people interested in doing PCBs can also do those this stuff is very easy trust me just be very patient you would you would learn how to send me the messages in no time so again um, do download the zip file if you're on Windows, if you're on Linux, which I also use, you download either the 32 bit or the 64 bit version, and it will also be like a tarball, and you unzip that also. Um, Linux automatically sees the drivers. For some reason, Windows doesn't. Um, in the event that Windows doesn't um, automatically recognize you are doing what you have to do is go to device manager manager and you see right here comes device manager I'll hit that up and um, give me a minute so I can plug up my nano and you see what happens to the device manager immediately once the nano is plugged in sorry just a minute I need to get the cable for the nano or the uno okay um i think i'll just use the uno for now can't seem to find the cable for the nano yet so here we go 
now this um the Arduino nano and the uno are really cheap um i don't know i buy the nano for 1500 naira in dollars that's probably about two dollars so it's like really really cheap stuff honestly trust me so i'm going to plug um plug this in now and um open up my device manager so you can see it because once i plug it in you should immediately see this stuff light um bring up the new device so just a minute okay so i've already installed the driver for the for the uno or nano the arduino driver is already installed and um, that's why it's not really popping up here but usually if you don't have it installed once you plug it up it will show like unknown um, usb device now you'd want to hit on that and um, tell it to install the driver um, typically you can pick up installing from either the arduino file now if you did download this um, you'd have the Arduino zip file and when you unzip it you would find the drivers alternatively you can just have Windows download the drivers online and with that you'll be able to use it um, right now I'm just going to open up my own Arduino IDE which is right here and um, it's loading up just need to give it a minute to load up uh, my system is a little bit slow but it's all right so now once the once it loads up it looks like this I'll come to tools and for board I have nano selected now if you're using the uno you change to Arduino slash genuine uno and then um when you come down here get board info um okay the uno is different if you were using the nano then you'd have to select the type of bootloader you're using because um there are two bootloaders for the nano there's the old bootloader and the new bootloader um you can try either and see which one works for you if you bought your nano if your nano was made in 2018 it would have the new bootloader if it was made before 2018 you have the old bootloader so if i change to nano now um under the processor you can see old bootloader so i'm using the old bootloader um then the other thing is the port so you want to select what port it's connected on um usually if you don't have the driver installed it won't even allow you select a port so you have to make sure you have your driver installed um so uh, since i have my uno connected i would go ahead and change to uno now um on that port i'm going to choose com8 and then i'm just going to open up like a blink sketch so under examples basic and go to blink and i will just hit verify first so it compiles the sketch um, now if there are any errors in the code it won't compile it would flag it up and give the error but the only reason why i'm doing this is just to show you um what could happen if for instance um, your board wasn't connected properly so now it says done compiling and now once I want to upload this code to my Arduino board I'll hit this and it will start to upload to the board so it says uploading my Arduino is blinking and now it says done uploading and now this code is working I wish I had the camera to show you right here but it's it's working now if you have everything set up right 
you're going to have the same thing so next thing we want to do because we're all about doing midi is to search for the arduino midi library um so arduino midi library um this file this um library was written in c um by some really awesome guy so 47 effects um we'll see his name and everything really awesome really awesome um it makes it extremely easy sending midi messages now normally if we weren't using the arduino midi library we would need a program like yls midi and um we'll send like the midi data through our serial ports so we'll send like serial data and now yls midi running in the background will pick it up and um, convert it to midi but this um library completely breaks that off so we don't need to do that so once you come to this page you just want to download the midi library um let's see documentation not necessary so you can come here and hit clone or download um so download zip and this you download the zip and i'll hit save arduino midi now i already have it saved on my system but i just want to walk you through the process so i'll open it up and um, i can just extract this to my desktop extract file mm, let's see okay so i'll choose desktop and hit okay and i guess it's already done extracting now you after you've extracted you want to come to back to your arduino and um go to sketch and go to include library and then now you can hit manage library and it will bring up this um just a minute um sketches uh, okay so add zip library yeah here we go and then you select from your desktop and arduino midi library now i already have it added so i'm not going to add it again but in order to verify whether you do have it included um on the so, sorry just um, there's just someone shouting so loud there yeah. um under included libraries if we go down uh down 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 where is midi oh god for some reason it's not showing so i might have to add it again um so okay so i guess i would do it so you can see it um go to desktop select the arduino midi click open and now if we do go back here and include library we should have midi as one of them and now you can see midi library is already down here um so now we can actually start sending midi data again in the next lecture or next series of lectures i would show i'm going to i'm going to write a script that i'm going to give to you guys to download and um this one i want to make extremely easy you use three arduino nanos and um, that would provide more than enough um, digital inputs for your pedals so you have 32 inputs the reason why i prefer using the nano over the uno is that the nano you can solder to like um, a pcb 
and it just looks like a surface mounted component it's really really easy to use again you guys are going to have fun with this stuff trust me this is just the very beginning but it's very important we have all this set up right from the very beginning we already have the midi library included um in the next lecture i would um design a midi circuit show you how to send midi data and um, we actually use ground grand dog and um, test like the expression pedals so we can control it with like a potentiometer and also play some music with like buttons on our breadboard you see how easy it is honestly trust me um so just next lecture we'll do that um in the time being please hit me up if you had any problems setting up the midi library or if you had any problems setting up your arduino id please let me know and i'll be more than willing to get on there and help you out thank you so much for your time god bless you